Beach, we've got hot chocks. You get <laughs> yeah, yours is huge. Why is it huge? I don't know. It's treating me. <laughs> I'm liking that there's still a Christmas cup because mm -hmm. Starbucks have got rid of theirs, and that I makes me very sad. Oh. We're walking these two <laughs> little beans. I'm actually being walked. <laughs> yeah, um, Marky likes to take humans on walks, not the opposite way. It's so small as well, but so strong. I don't understand. <laughs> We are at Sheringham and it's a very cute little town but we haven't been here for years, like everything's changed. Yeah, it's crazy. There's so many cute little cafes as well. Yeah, so many. And then a Costa right in the middle, which I feel really bad that we went to the Costa, we should have gone to like a I cute know, little I place. Need we need the <laughs> wee. Here are the boys. Bruce is very happy about his ball. It's probably so windy here, you guys can't even hear me. Do you know what I literally said to Matt? I went, we're going to get on the beach and it'll be high tide and it freaking is. We're going swimming! Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna dip. <laughs> Probably the coldest walk on the beach no. I've ever had in my life. Alone. And even then, my I'd say it was a stumble. It's freezing. How's the fish game? Lovely. Have well, they got it for you? Yes, they did not match. Although I did ask for two sausages. Probably wouldn't have found that. <laughs> you can't do right for wrong these days. <laughs> have we all got a New Year's resolution? What? No, I asked that. my Instagram. Any inspo? Jordan told me to get back in the gym <laughs> three to four times. <laughs> Brad, do you have one? Be out of the country more than being in the country. A yeah. lot of people's answers were say no to things and do more for themselves. 
Fab, if you don't already, please go and subscribe to George's channel because she's just hit 3,000 subscribers and I'm very proud of her. Thanks. Round of applause yeah. for yeah. everyone. Yeah. Matt, have you got any? Um, do frayed extensions in a year. Yeah. 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 Uh, finish the house. Finish my house. Finish it. Wow. Wow. Mm. That'd be bold. Finish internally. Inside. Inside Fair enough. Are you going to post Christmas? Wow. You guys are coming. <laughs> we're in back home that was the coldest walk ever we were not prepared didn't have a hat i was freezing cold but we had some fish and chips and we've headed back home to basically get our lives together here so obviously it's now the new year and we're gonna take the tree down which i'm kind of sad to do because it does make this room very cozy but at the same time we need this space back <laughs> this room is not the biggest so it'll be nice to have it like all cleared we're gonna freshen it all up and get all the christmas decks down we actually don't have that many do we so it shouldn't take too long just got to pack all these baubles up and pop them in these boxes and then take the tree down i'm glad we don't have a real tree this year because the worst part is picking up all the needles yeah that's what we're gonna do and then we obviously have dad's surprise meal this evening <laughs> So we have, I think, about a couple of hours before we need to head off for dinner. So we've decided to do a little bit of DIY. Christmas is all cleared up and the stuff is back in the attic. Um, so we've had a bit of an organise. But the other night, we actually started to build the headboard in the bedroom finally. You guys would have seen this in the moving vlogs. It's taken us so long to even start this project. And we'll see it's clearly half finished right now. You guys probably would have seen this in the clips from this morning. But yeah, we've made a start on sticking this to the wall and I will insert some clips so you guys can see, but it's such a DIY job, like not even a DIY job, it's just a bodge job. Like we've literally stuck this to the wall with like no nails, which is not the way to do it. Like we should definitely have pinned this or something, but we've just gone with the easiest option, which is not the best. We should have spent a little bit more time on this, but anyway, we're gonna finish this job off. Hopefully tomorrow when we've got a bit more time um, and then obviously you guys will be able to see the headboard in full. I think I'm going to have to move these pictures though because I feel like they just look a bit busy with this now. I mean I could. They are just some canvases from Don Elm. I get quite a few questions on these actually. They come in a two pack and obviously the other one's over there. Um, and I think they're about £40 or something. They're just that kind of like plaster effect I want to say. I know a lot of people make these which I wanted to do but... I saw, I think Steph Toms had these um, on her story a while ago and I was like, where did you get those from? <laughs> that is not going to stay. I think I might have to put these like up on the wall above the headboard, um, which I'm not sure I want to do. I think I want to get like a piece of like wall art for above here. I know Sid in her old flat, she had like this gorgeous shell kind of art piece above her bed as like a headboard and I really love how that looks so I'm looking for something similar so that is the little project that we have going on up here but otherwise this bedroom is literally my favorite place like it's so nice and cozy super neutral nice and clear in here I just love it it's like my favorite place to come and chill um so yeah that is upstairs like I say hopefully we'll pick this project back up tomorrow and I think I might continue vlogging tomorrow as well to make this a little bit of a longer video but I'm going to quickly take you downstairs now because Brad is going to start painting the other floor that we have in like the kitchen diner area we obviously painted the lounge like ages ago and we just haven't got around to this so that is what we're going to do for the next couple of hours until we head to mum and dad's so this is the room that we are painting as you can see the floor 
need some help like this is what the floor looks like in the lounge that we painted a while ago which we probably need to go over at some point because it's just i mean it's a white floor like it's obviously going to get grubby anyway um but i feel like it could do with a bit of a freshen up so i'm sure we'll pick that up at a later date but this is what we're going to go over and finally get it painted because we're going to stay at mum and dad's tonight so it has 24 hours to dry and then hopefully this room will come together a little bit more it's very empty in here isn't it we need to yeah yeah we don't even have a dining table yet which we think will go here so we need to have a look for that we should probably look on made.com don't they have loads of sales on we need to find some stuff from here um the kitchen is looking um not great uh, it was nice and clear before we decided to paint this room but I'll show you guys that tomorrow when we've reorganized everything. But yeah, this is what we're going to do now. back in the car we are just about to head to mum and dad's it's currently half five and i think dinner's booked for half seven but mum wants us all to surprise dad at the house and then we're all going to go for a drink before dinner so that is now the plan the floor has had one coat of paint and it already looks so much better like as soon as you put the paint on you realize just how dirty that floor is but yeah i think we're going to stay over at mum and dad's this evening and then potentially head to the gym tomorrow because i need to get back into it i've really lost my routine with that i think just living so much further out now now we live in this house we're like probably an extra 20 minutes from the city so it means our drive to the gym is like 40 minutes which is not an excuse but we have definitely fallen out of a good routine with it and i do miss it a lot like it makes you feel good i miss all the people there so i think i might start back tomorrow and then keep up with it oh i suppose another update we have our first trip of 2023 booked Ooh. i say trip booked but we're basically brad went on skyscanner the other night and was like uh we're going to milan on the 14th and i was like okay absolutely fine we're going for 48 hours and then we don't have a flight booked from milan so we don't know where we're going to go after that but i think that's kind of the fun of it is that what we're doing yeah the plan is to try and do a challenge of some kind of well i don't really know if it's a challenge it's more of a, like a, just, just a an bit adventure fun, a bit yeah. of fun you can go from the airport that you want to fly from to everywhere yeah. or anywhere um and select the date that you want to fly and then you click one way um and that way you can then bring up as many of the locations that they're flying from on that date from that airport and the idea being that we pick the cheapest possible flight that we've got. I think you can then make it low to high. So it will bring up like any destination you can go to and then you can click like price low to high. And then I think we're just gonna choose like the cheapest destination and just kind of see where we end up. I don't know how long we're gonna do it for, but that is our first adventure of 2023. I feel so lucky that we got to go away so much last year, but if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that last year was meant to be our year of travel. And obviously Brad quit his job so we could go and travel and the year just ended up being insanely busy in like the best way but obviously we renovated a house we moved into that house like so much happened that we've realized that actually we just want to travel over the next two or three years and like do it really on and off obviously with my job it's amazing to go away and bring you guys with us but there's also so much i need to do at home and there's so many other things i want to do which hopefully fingers crossed some of those things will happen this year but i'm not going to say too much about it now um but yeah, we're not in a rush to settle down at all. Probably a bit of a deep chat to be having while we're on our way to mum and dad's, but here we are. We're really not in a rush to settle down. We don't have any ties. We don't have any pets or anything like that. So we just are very much like over the next two, three years, we're going to just see the world, go travel whenever we want, have that freedom and just enjoy it. So yeah, that is the first trip of 2023 booked. Obviously you guys will be coming along with that, which I'm really excited for. And there'll be so much other content, of course, like the fashion hauls, all of that is coming back i'm really excited to get into this year actually i feel like it's going to be just as good as last year anyway 
we're gonna make our way over to mum and dad's house and I will bring you guys along in the evening. Obviously we are just gonna be spending time with family so I'll just film some little clips so you can see what we're up to. Um, but I'm so excited for food. If you're in the Norfolk area and you've never tried the Black Boys pub in Elsham, go, like book a table now, it is the best food. Like go when you're hungry as well because the plate sizes are insane. I joke, I eat a lot and that is beyond me, it beats me every single time. Like it's a challenge, yeah. but the food is unreal. So yeah, recommendation from me, um, but we'll see you guys in a bit. We've made it, we're just walking up to the door and my plan of action is to say to dad, I've basically said, oh, we're going out tonight, but we just need to pick up something from yours. Sorry, it's so dark. Um, so I'm gonna say, do you know where we're going out tonight? And then they will say nowhere. And I'll say, took pub with you. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. Hello. Do you know where we're going tonight? Do I know where you're going tonight? Yeah. Uh, are you coming here? Yeah! Hey! Come on in! <laughs> Hello! Oh, that's a total result. Happy we're late going out. Oh, have, <laughs> have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. Oh, have a lovely day. Oh, have a lovely day. I saw your message a while ago that you were on your way. Happy birthday! <laughs> Yeah, really good. Yeah. So you've had a wonderful yeah. time. So yeah, all really good actually. There you go. Um, so we need to go and get some food. No, it's fine. So it's I, I have, I knew, so I've got stuff in the freezer. You knew? Mm -hmm. Hey. Have it. But I don't believe that. What are you doing here? Today. Or it's not. I feel a bit lower. Oh, oh. day it's literally half eight in the morning like i should be able to get up at this time and feel not like a zombie but i just i'm just not in a routine at the moment and i'm so tired but i've got myself out of bed and i'm going to the gym for the first time in like two months so wish me luck i feel like i'm gonna try and film some clips at the gym so you guys can see what i'm up to but i feel like the next clip of me after the gym i will not be looking okay like I feel like I might die in this session. So that is what I'm gonna do. I thought I'd just quickly say good morning. I am gonna carry this vlog on to today. Um, I'm not really sure what we're up to, to be fair. I think we've just got a few bits to do here and there. And then we actually need to start looking for a new car. We realized yesterday because we've had this car from Peugeot because I've been working with them over the last couple of months. Um, and we've honestly loved it. Like it's been so easy to get around. This is not part of the ad at all. I have completed my work with them now, but um yeah generally we've just honestly loved driving this car around it's one of their fully electric models so it's been really interesting to try out um an electric car because we think that's what we're going to go for next for now wish me luck in the gym <laughs> I'm done. That actually didn't feel as bad as I thought it would. Like I'm pleasantly surprised. It wasn't the best thing ever, but it definitely wasn't the worst. Like I actually felt fine doing all the exercises. I was so out of breath, but when you haven't been in a while, I feel like you just gotta pick it up again and just stick with it. So I'm gonna try and do that over the next couple of days. We've booked onto full body tomorrow, me and Georgia. Um, that used to be like our weekly thing. We do it every single week, like a full body session on a Wednesday. And I need to get back into that. So. Yeah, gym is done for the morning. It is now about half nine. So I'm gonna head back to mom and dad's. We stayed there last night and I need to take some pictures for a brand. I feel like this week is definitely gonna be straight back into work. Like everyone's getting back into the offices. I need to catch up with my manager um, and just get back to it really. So I'm actually really excited to get back into this year, start creating regular content again. And yeah, obviously we told you about our fun little trip that we have planned this month. Last night we explained it. So obviously that's coming up as well. Like so many other things that I have to look forward to. So I'm in a good mood. And obviously the gym, getting back into the gym just sorts my head out so quickly. I definitely felt myself like over the time I haven't been going, even like a month ago, I definitely felt the mental effects like it just clears your head like you focus on nothing else when you're in the gym you're just focused on getting your workout done and then you leave and you always feel better like you'll never regret going so i'm excited for that 
positive mindset to come back as well um i feel like i'm already feeling it but anyway i'm really hungry so i'm gonna head back to my dad to get some breakfast and start my work for the day good morning guys so it's actually now wednesday i think and i started this vlog obviously on bank holiday monday so i'm just picking you up again um life has definitely just got going at the start of this year like we've had so much on which has been amazing and we have the best news which i will get onto in just a sec but yeah, I just feel like it's been a bit hectic, so sorry this vlog has been all over the place. Yesterday, I went to the gym in the morning, as you guys would have seen. I didn't really film anything, just because it was my first session back, and it was a sweat class, so we were literally just like running around the gym, sweating, as the name suggests. So I didn't really get the chance to film, but I'm heading back to the gym today. But yeah, other than that, we then had to rush to our old house yesterday. So we have as you guys know we've sold our old house and we've obviously moved into our house that we're living in now that you have seen throughout this vlog like in the morning and stuff that is where we're now living i've touched on this before but this was the house that we bought to renovate to then hopefully rent out at some point in the future but obviously we've now moved into it so that reason literally being that as i'm sure everybody knows house prices were going crazy not that long ago and we had a really good opportunity to sell our house at a really good time so we did that based on the fact that we knew it wasn't going to be our forever home like if you guys have followed me from moving into that place you will know that like nothing really changed we had so many plans for it we wanted to do so much with it but we would always start like a tiny project and we'd never finish it like that place was such a lovely house but it was never home i did love it because i love the potential that it had i love the garden we had a south facing garden like there were so many parts about it that i did love but like I say, it was just so unfinished all the time. I feel like my office was the only room that was really my own and like something that we actually completed and like Brad's man den and that was probably it. Like we never changed the kitchen. Um, we started renovating the downstairs bathroom but never finished that. I don't know, it just, there was obviously something stopping us from throwing all our money into it and making it like our dream house to have kids in and stuff like that. So then obviously we decided that we wanted to go traveling before we settle down and have kids and all that fun stuff. So we are gonna be doing that over the next three years. I think I said this or mentioned it briefly in this vlog. Um, obviously it could be three years, it could be four, it could be one, like we don't really have a time scale to it but we've definitely realised from last year, like obviously we were home a lot more than we thought we would be, we thought we'd kind of be travelling for literally the whole year but life happens and sometimes you have to be home for things that like we had to be home to sort out this house, we then decided to sell our house so we had to be back for that, like we have just realised that we don't have to rush the travelling side of things and we're very lucky to be able to go away for the next two three years however we want whenever we want and I'm fully aware of the situation that puts us in like we are eternally grateful to be in this position I cannot stress that enough while we have no commitments here we just want to be able to live freely a little bit and just yeah go and see the world as and when we want so that is why we are currently living here it's obviously literally halved our bills like we don't have as much costs here there's no strings attached like it just made so much sense to move into this place when we did so anyway that backstory being said i hope it all makes sense but um i just wanted to clear a couple of things up because i know i have briefly touched on these things and not really elaborated so our old house like i say we sold it back in march we are now in january of the next year and we are finally completing today so we exchanged on the house yesterday and we are completing today which is so exciting um it's just like crazy to me that we've i don't know like we were able to sell at a time where it's just set us up really well like i'd rather just be really transparent with you guys and like be honest about if you see us like off going and doing really nice things and obviously i'm fully aware you guys know that brad isn't necessarily working at the moment he's obviously doing a couple of bits on his own and he's really getting into his drone stuff but yeah we are in a really fortunate position where we've been able to sell at a good time that set us up to go and do what we want to do for a while and obviously i'm still working full time i still have this amazing job that allows me to earn so i just want you guys to know that like that is mainly the reason we've been able to do this like it has been stressful selling a house over nearly a year like it's been nine months which is crazy from the day that we sold it it's been nine months for us actually then being able to hand the keys over. Today is that day which I'm very excited about. I'm just excited to put it all in the past and just close that door and just walk away. And obviously we're both like 
kind of sad to leave that house but being completely honest like this whole process of selling it i'm just excited to see the back of it which sounds so probably sounds so bad but we've made this home so cozy like i come home and i feel like it is my home like it's just everything we wanted it's super cozy it's so easy to manage like the rooms are complete there's obviously still little bits that we need to do but otherwise everything just feels like finished and i love that um so yeah because this place feels so homely i don't feel as sad about the other house which i'm kind of happy about because it makes it so much easier to just hand the keys over and walk away <laughs> i'm also really excited for the people moving into it because brad actually knows the guy i believe um and he's been in contact with him and they're like telling us all the plans they have for it that is what is happening today so for right now i've just got ready because i need to go to my mum and dad's to take some pictures for gola i have a little ad to shoot with them um, and then I'm going to go and meet Brad at the house, get the last bits out, and then I think we're going to go and drop the keys, um, probably grab some lunch, and then it will be time to go to the gym. So a little bit of a busy day, but all exciting things. Um, I'm not sure what our plans are this evening, but I will bring you guys along. I also need to get a coffee because I feel like I'm flagging already. And speaking of, we went to Starbucks yesterday, and there were two of the loveliest girls ever at the window, and one of them was like, I think I follow you on Instagram and she was like are you Emily and I was like yeah they were just so sweet and like literally made my day and then we got our drinks and one of them had written on the cups have a nice day on like both mine and Brad's lids and I just thought that was so cute like it really really brightened my day so if that was you and you happen to be watching this video thank you so much for saying hi because I love it when you guys come up to me and say hi I am really rambling I'm gonna get on my way um and then I will chat to you guys as and when something happens like i say that is the exciting news of the day and a very very good way to start the year like i'm excited <sighs> so i finished taking pictures at mom and dad's we are now in our old house which feels so weird because this is literally going to be the last time we're here um yeah it feels really strange i just don't like i'm surprised at how like fine i feel with it like i feel a little bit numb to it if i'm being honest because of how long this process has been and it's completely empty so it always feels weird being in a house that you've lived in when there's nothing in here like it doesn't feel like yours um but yeah i'm just gonna quickly sit and edit these pictures that i need to send over to my manager and we're gonna pack the car with the last load of stuff which is a sofa that we're trying to sell but it's not gone yet so we need to store it somewhere before we can sell it but yeah i will give you guys a little empty house tour and I'm sure it would probably feel a little bit weird to some of you guys. I feel like so many people watch us move into this place. The sofa's by the door, ready for us to take over to store it with my mum and dad's. This is the one that I wrapped in this like Borg fabric. And I never got around to finishing it properly. So uh, it's not the best job. So yeah, that is all done. And then this is what the house is looking like. We definitely need to hoover, but I don't know if we're going to have the time to be honest. So we will probably just have to apologise to them for that. But I feel like when you move in, you have a good old deep clean anyway so yeah this is the kitchen all empty like i say we never ended up doing anything to this i think even wrapping the doors would have made this a little bit of like a nicer brighter space i just didn't love how dark the black was with the dark wood i mean it might be someone's vibe but yeah i think making all of this like a cream or like stone color would have been nice um but this is where we had Christmas for two years and like had so many people over. This was like our social space, which was nice. We've literally just left um, a couple of the radiator covers because if they want them, then they can have them. But if they don't, then they're really easy to get rid of. And then this is our lounge or was our lounge. Literally the only thing we ended up doing in here was the paneling on the wall, which I actually do really love. I want to do this somewhere in our house that we have now. We just haven't got around to it yet. Um, but again, we've left a radiator cover in here because they're always useful. I think this one was from B&Q actually and it's really good quality. It wasn't too expensive either. But yeah, sofa was over in that corner. That's all gone. We've obviously left the wood burner that we had put in, I think last year. We've left that in here for them. We said that we'd leave it with the house, of course. So this again was one of my favorite rooms, like such a nice big space. Let me put you guys over here. I think I did this when we first moved in. I'm gonna try and find the clip because I was trying to show you guys how big the room was. And then up the stairs, we have, oh, your table, Brad, I forgot about that. Oops. The Mandan. So they've actually bought this sofa with 
the house, which is amazing for us and for them because I think their plan is to keep this room as a man den. Um, so we've left this. I don't know if I've actually, I must have explained, this sofa actually came through that window because we could not get it up the stairs. Like it's so big, as you guys can see. So it did us a favor that we didn't have to take it out again and they won't have to worry about trying to get a massive sofa in here. So this room kind of looks no different, I guess. We've obviously just taken the TV off the wall. So yeah, that was Brad's little man den. And then my office was in here. This is where you guys would have seen all my videos filmed. Um, we've taken the lampshades down. Obviously my desk and stuff was over here. And then my sofa that we have in our lounge now was in this corner here. That was actually where me and George were planning on doing our podcast, which we've never got around to because when I say like, I cannot believe how busy both of us have been, it's been so hard to try and like match updates to even see each other, let alone film like 20 something episodes of a podcast. So fingers crossed, maybe sometime in the future we can pick that back up. But yeah, that was our little spot and that was where we were gonna film it. Um, but this again was such a nice, decent sized room, especially for my office. Like it was so, so good to have all my filming set up in here. Just made it really easy. But in this next room, we had the guest bedroom. Again, really lovely size. We didn't really ever do anything to this room. I think we had a plan to panel the back wall and then obviously have the bed in front, but again, we never got around to it. So that is this room empty. And then on this same floor we have, this was like the guest floor bathroom, but it was the bathroom that had the bath in it. So this is where we'd have baths. And then up stairs we had our bedroom and our bathroom so in here we did paint um but so i got this paint mixed up in b and q it was a valspar paint which we did downstairs as well actually in brad's manden and i got this mixed up on a far and ball paint so valspar basically you can take them any swatch and they'll exactly match it but i wouldn't say they do exactly match it i remember when george moved into her house she did like a swatch of the Velspar paint and then a swatch of the Fur and Ball paint that she was trying to get made up and they were completely different. So yeah, when I chose this paint, I thought it was a little bit more of like a stone color, but it came out quite pink. It's like quite a nude off-white. So I didn't actually love this in the end, but this was our master bedroom. And then we had the walkthrough wardrobe, which is such a good find for any house. Like this was an absolute lifesaver. You obviously got so much storage in here, like all over. Um, and then this goes through into the ensuite bathroom, which again, nothing has changed. <laughs> you could literally right now be watching my um, empty house tour vlog because it looks exactly the same. Um, we had so many plans for in here. We were gonna knock that wall down, put a bath in the um, like corner, like under the sloped ceiling and get like a whole new shower and everything. But yeah, this is now somebody else's project. As you guys can see, it's such a decent sized place. Like we were so lucky to get this when we did. Um, but it's just not our lives right now. Like we don't need all this space. We're not having kids anytime soon. It just doesn't fit our life and that's completely fine. So that is this house completely empty and ready for its new owners. The garden was probably one of my favorite parts actually, although she looks a bit sorry for herself right now. But we had a south facing garden so you guys can see the sun over here. This would literally rise and set over here, which was amazing. Like we'd have the sun all day in summer. We'd always have people over in the summertime when it was hot. But yeah, crazy, crazy times. It just feels like a chapter of our lives is closing like this part of our lives is done and we are moving on with a nice fresh start which always always feels good how do you feel what about leaving bad <laughs> so happy it feels weird doesn't it, it does feel weird, i just it's said nice. like we moved in and it looked like this we didn't do anything to yeah, it yeah, yeah. like it's literally the first thing we yeah 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 damn size yeah, that's what I was Imagine just saying. Travel. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying that we don't we didn't need this at this point in our lives. Like yeah. it is such a big house, which is amazing, but that's not our life right now. I'm excited to move on. Me too. This is it. We are leaving for the last time. 
goodbye little house you're so good to us but it's on to you bigger and better things <laughs> This feels so weird. Bye little house. Number one, that was us. I know it's super dark, but we have just dropped the sofa off at mum and dad's and I am now headed to the estate agents to give them the keys and we are done. This feels honestly like the biggest weight lift off our shoulders. And it feels good. And I'm gonna celebrate with the Starbucks because I'm so hungry right now. All right, I will see you guys once I no longer have these in my hand. And we are done. The only keys I now have are ours for our house. I feel like we can breathe. We now obviously just have to wait for everything to go through but I'm just excited for the guys they get their keys and they can move in like it's such an exciting day for them. I have no doubt they will be straight over to the estate agents at 2pm getting their keys for a new house and yeah we are done here over and out for that house. Brad has just pulled up. So, done, yeah? yeah. Completion's done. Completion's done. Have you checked the bank? No, completion isn't done. Sorry. He said it, they close from one till two, so it'll be open up at two. Yeah, it has. I've got right choice, call me. Has it? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, we may have to wait a couple of days before it even happens. That's fine, I don't mind. <laughs> Going all to different 
different places, different planets But your aura passed me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like the drive, get down and dirty like, like the bad guy Oh 